Thanks for tuning in. I'm Amanda, and this video is a quick overview of the control panel and how to use the basic function of the key and layering sources. First off, the switcher system and control panel we're using in this video is the Broadcast Pix Granite 1000. For a quick recap, let's identify the different sections or banks of the control panel. From left to right, we have the source control buttons containing the key, source, program, and preview buttons. The soft keys contain the keying buttons. Below that section is the transition controls, and above is the motion buttons. From top to bottom, we have the assignable devices, the PIX pad, and the direct keys. Since we're going to be focusing on keys and how to layer sources, we're going to be looking at the soft keys and understanding each function. Within the soft keys are shift, trans preview, background, key one, key two, and key three. Shift allows you to access keys four, five, and six. When trans preview button is active, the preview monitor shows exactly what will go into program when you use a transition. The key sources can hold graphics that can be layered over camera shots or videos. There are many ways to have these elements in your program, but I'm going to show you the steps to get graphics through the soft keys. By this route, we will see what will be on air in preview, then use a transition to have it in program. If a key source is in program, it will be illuminated red. If it's orange, it's in preview. Since we are in basic mode, we can simply just press the keys we want to put in preview or remove from preview. So, if you want key 2 in preview, press key 2. If you want to take it out of preview, press key 2 again. Now, let's set up a still background with an over the shoulder in preview. Next, let's set up a video for the next shot and use a courtesy from another key. Now, let's go to an animation with no graphic key. Last, let's put a still background with two graphics from key 1 and key 3 into preview. So, the soft keys allow you to use multiple sources at once. It can be pretty simple to make your program professional. If you have questions, you can shoot me an email or check out my website. Thanks and see you next time.